All right, I think we've got enough now of the basics. So let's actually take a look at an HTML page and we'll uh, poke around it a little bit. I want you to see what it actually looks like and we'll continue from there. Let's jump into a code editor, an HTML editor. We'll get into this in a second. So I'm going to put in some HTML code. So don't worry, you're not going to understand any of this now, but uh, slowly you will. So we're just going to save this. So here you go, an HTML page in all its glory. Isn't it amazing? Okay, it's not amazing. This is very simple. So what you see in blue, the text in blue is HTML. And what you see in black is actual text. I'm just going to highlight it here. That's going to be displayed in the page. And what's in green is a little bit of extra information. It's actually part of the HTML as well. Don't worry, you don't have to understand this now, but all you got to know is that what's in blue is HTML. This here, what we're looking at this thing is called Sublime Text, and it's an app used to build websites. It's actually a code editor app, and I'll explain what code is in a second. And uh, code editor apps are there to make coding easier. I should explain what coding is. Coding is writing code. Code is any computer language. So HTML is a computer language. You could also call it HTML code. CSS is another computer language used to build websites. You can call it CSS code. JavaScript 2, another language, another computer language, you can say it's JavaScript code. The code is just the text that you, uh, that you write. In this case, it's all this. And so you could say you're coding in HTML or you're coding in CSS. You get the idea. That's why Sublime Text here, which is a very popular app that nerds love to use today, and it's a code editor. It is an app that makes coding in many different languages much easier. And it does that by doing things like coloring the code like this, turns it, turns it blue, and doing things called auto code completion. What is that? It just basically helps you along as you're coding. It completes the code automatically as you're typing it out. So let me just give you a quick example. I'm going to write some HTML. And you see that drop down menu here? This is basically the app, Sublime Text, is suggesting to us, well, do you want to write any of these uh, different HTML code? So I'm going to just say, we're going to select the P, the one at the top. And I just hit enter and it writes it for us. That's a little bit of HTML. 